beautiful guys we are currently at 630 subscribers emotional damage we are heading to that 1k so if you want to help me hit that 1k subscriber mark then be sure to demolish that subscribe button if you have just been a viewer and haven't subscribed to the channel so i uh, yes i do listen so i listen to you guys um you've been complaining a lot you've been like fortune you keep creating this awesome they are great but they are in php so could you at least do something in javascript or um, a framework so i'm going to be working on a, a framework version so i'm probably going to use react in the video that i'm going to make but in this particular video we're just going to be doing this using vanilla javascript so we're just going to be doing the SDK push. We won't do anything to do with the response or a callback URL or anything. I just want to show you guys how you can simulate um, this using just vanilla JavaScript. So let's go through this demo directly. So if I hit on this, buy for Kenya shillings 200 on this particular products page, I get an SDK push on my device. Which of course, if I enter the pin, uh, that particular amount gets deducted. So that's simply as simple as uh, as it is. It's really simple, and it will surprise you how simple this implementation is. Of course, we'll be using our third-party service, Tiny Pesa. So let me just head over to the code. Of course, you'll find the code already on GitHub. It's just some um, lightweight code. I don't really think you'll even have to download this because you can literally code this all out from scratch. I'm just going to explain it to you. I'm not going to do uh, much of coding because really coding five lines is not really necessary to just do that. Let me just explain this. So, you know, you don't really need any of this. Uh, I would just kind of maybe tell you uh, because you, you wouldn't want this running on its own. Because each time the page would uh, be rendered, you would get an SDK push, which is not ideal. So, uh, because it will just create some multiple charges. So, what I did was just create a function which is initiated by clicking this particular button. So, basically what we want to focus on is definitely this particular part. So, this all the code, literally, this is all the code you need to simulate that a particular SDK push that you have seen. So to explain this properly, a JavaScript can send network requests to a particular server or an API using a method known as fetch. So that's exactly what is being done here. And what fetch takes in is it takes in two things. It takes in a URL um, and then options. And of course the URL which is this, this code can be found in uh, the official documentation. So this is the URL. And of course it has options, which are parameters, uh, you know, the parameters, the method and the headers, etc. So as you can see, the, its parameters are the amount which is had coded as one. But of course in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how we can do this dynamically. I just wanted to really hurry up and show you how you can just do this straight up. So, uh, mess, uh, whatever, MSISDN, that is usually your phone number in Tiny Pesa. So, I have just inserted mine and, of course, the account number. Those are uh, some of the parameters. And, of course, you have to keep putting your own API key. Um, I, you, you also have to just go and change this and insert your own API key. and of course the method is post. So basically what is being done at this point is that it's just making a request to tiny Pesa and it's just keying in these particular parameters already. So tiny Pesa just receives all these parameters already from you and just takes care of um, the particular transaction. So it's really, really that simple to do this using JavaScript so none of you guys can really blame me and say fortune you haven't done anything on uh vanilla js so this is the tutorial that i've done for you guys uh if you would want anything at all or you have an idea of what you'd like to be created next then head over directly down to the comment section 
and let me know. That's it for this tutorial. I'm very psyched, very excited. Hope we get one case soon. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.